Hello, my name is Joe. Welcome to my channel where I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. Today I have a fun little comparison between the Philips 1200 and the Terra Cafe TK-01, something like that. Uh, both these machines are pretty different in price. This starts at $775. If you use the discount code I linked below, you can get it for $700. And this machine retails for $499. I've got it before on discount. This one we actually were able to purchase for $3.99 directly from Seattle Coffee Gear, but I haven't seen it go on discount since Christmas time-ish. So $4.99 is the price I have been seeing. Uh, so as far as the price and everything goes, I would say that you know you do get the extra benefits here. I, I would I would say. Because one, you get this really beautiful touch screen. I personally like the touch screen a lot, especially if you have guests over or you know you have somebody, some people might be familiar with making espresso, some people might not. This makes it super easy. You, you click one of these options, latte, espresso, cappuccino, Americano, and it makes you coffee. The other thing I really like about that is that you have all these settings and things. So you can go into the settings. I have a video that I can link above about how to set those up, but you could really, dial in everything you want. So on this one, I if you watch my re video review, I will link above here, which gives you a lot more detail on the machine. Uh, you will know that I was very frustrated with this because you could only get eight ounces of coffee out of it, which we're using this for an Airbnb, great, but we had to buy all new cups because I couldn't put 10 ounces in it. So it's a little frustrating. Um, whereas the Terra Cafe, you can set, you can really set it to basically anything you want. Um, but you know, I think the, as far as value goes, there is some things to like. So as far as the build quality, I don't really think one is built significantly better. They're both very plastic machines. This does have some metal etching and stuff like that. And obviously I think the design of this one looks prettier. It looks more modern, but as far as like actual build construction is going, like they're very plastic, everything feels, you know, especially this, this, this here to me, this, um, you know, the, where everything comes out at, this is, I don't know, it just doesn't feel great. There's something about it that I don't love a lot. You, you, you're kind of stretching it a lot. Whereas this one, it goes up and down super, super easy. I'm not saying that it feels super quality. Like this is plastic. It's just brushed plastic but it does move a little bit nicer. It feels a little bit nicer when you're moving it up and down. Uh, also, the steam wand is nice, especially if you, you know, want to try to do your own steaming. This is a Panarello steam wand though, so don't expect to be able to texture the milk like you would with a traditional steam wand. Um, the other thing too, I definitely want, when we're talking about steaming, this machine steams a lot faster. So we did a test and you will see that this one, you basically hit the button within four or five seconds. You got steamed milk coming out of here and you can change the settings back here. There's a little dial that you could change. But with this one, it took at least 30 seconds before you were able to start you know, steaming milk. The other thing too, I wanna to mention with both of them, both the steam wands, or I should say steam wand and steaming vessel, whatever you wanna call this, uh, both of them shoot out water at first a lot of times. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. I, I, you know, both both of them do that. It's not great. It's not ideal. It's not what I like. But it's just something to think about. You're not really gonna beat the system with either one of those. Um, next thing on the list that I kind of want to talk about is uh, the capacity of water. They are about the same. There's not really a, a big difference. Maybe plus or minus 0.1 uh, liters. Um, and then on top of that. I would like to mention that the grinder on this one is slightly more quiet. It is also, I think it looks a little bit nicer too. There's something about it. You can kind of see the beans in here. Whereas this one, you can't really see the beans while this is on top, maybe only a little bit. Um, also the top keeps things a lot hotter. This piece right here definitely produces a lot more heat than this. This one I can put my hand on here. Honestly, it does. this is not even warm. This is room temperature right now. 
it will eventually get warm, but this has an automatic shut off after one hour, which is okay. But this one you can set to stay on basically as long as you want. Uh, so that's another thing you want to think about. And there's like an eco mode too, where it like only like semi shuts down. So this is kind of nice in that category, especially cause this one has to do a water. You have to like flush water out every time it, you know, if you want to have your machine on constantly, it's kind of annoying having to, you know, waste water constantly. All that said though, I think both machines offer a lot of value. It really just depends on what you prefer. If I were to purchase a machine, I would go with the Terra Cafe. I think that the little bump up in price, uh, you know, for as much as it is, 200-ish dollars, two, 300 dollars, um, you do get the value out of that. The automatic frothing system, the, uh, you know, this little carafe, it is double walled, so it does keep milk very cold for a few hours, actually, so you don't have to worry about it sitting out for a little while. Um, the programmability, really the ease of use, too. Um, yeah, they're, they're both pretty good. Now, my final test though, I am gonna do a shot of espresso on both. I've never done this before, I haven't tested that. So you're gonna get my first thoughts. So let me uh, just hit the button and you'll get to see the whole process. It's pretty simple. Espresso, play. Espresso, there you go. Sit back and watch. Now they both do the water cycle. So both of them have this, you know, you get water in both. So I'm gonna just leave it with the water. I'm not, again, a huge fan of these water cycles, but that's where you're gonna do it. I do notice that I think the espresso on the left-hand side does seem to be a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. um, it is the exact same beans, so that is something to consider. Let's take a look here. Okay, so I wanna show you the top heads here. So this is from the Terra Cafe. It is actually looking darker now on this one, and this is the Phillips. So I'm gonna taste, let me start with the Terra. It's very hot, this espresso is piping. Okay, let me go into here. Hmm. Interesting. Um, so this one is definitely cooler. The espresso is cooler. Now you can change the temperature on this one. I there the, the method to do that is a little bit more difficult for sure than changing the temperature on this one, but uh, you can do it. Now this one seems, let me give it one more sip. Yeah, it's just way hotter for sure. This one is, it's smooth. It's a definitely a little bit more bold. Um, let me do one more sip here. Yeah, they're both pretty good. Um, they're noticeably more watery than you're going to get on a standard espresso machine. I just wanna make that super clear. If you were to pull this in a Gaggia or in a Breville, you know, Barista Express or whatever, the shot will be stronger. These are both using pressurized filter baskets and they only really grind up to about 12 grams. So that's a pretty small shot and that might have something to do with it. Um, but yeah, as you can see too here, the crema is sitting a little bit better uh, after even a few sips than the Phillips. But yeah, I would say that the Terra does edge out a little bit, not because of the temperature really, but more because uh, the boldness, it's, it seems a little bit stronger, like maybe it's getting a little bit finer of a grind. Um, extraction seems slightly higher. This one is very smooth though. It's actually slightly smoother and that might just have to do with it being weaker, uh, but they're both pretty good. I, I think if you were to have either and you were to like really trying to decide between which one makes better espresso. I don't think you're gonna make, you know, have a huge variation in which one's better. This is like maybe one point higher than this one on a, on a test of one to 10 or something like that. So this is the two machines, Terra Cafe TKO1 and the Philips 1200 
Also, the 2200, they're basically the same machine. If you have any questions between these two, leave them in the comments below. And again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.